Hi, my name is Jen Dupont. I've worked in marketing and events for over 10 years now. Open houses can be a unique way to boost the number of patients coming into your practice. But this isn't something you want to throw together at the last minute. This is something that should be planned in advance so that it's executed properly. Remember, this is the first time some of your potential patients will meet you and your office staff and see your office space, so you want the first impression to be a good one. Start thinking about your open house six to eight weeks in advance. Off the bat, you will want to finalize the best date and take care of some initial steps, like figuring out the capacity of your office and considering any technical needs you might have, such as securing a projector or television monitor. You can usually rent that equipment, but if you don't have it, you'll want to start the process early. Next, you'll want to develop the features of the open house itself. First, secure a vendor that will be supplying food and beverages for attendees. You don't need to be extravagant, but have enough variety so you can cater to different tastes. Staffing is the next concern. You want enough people available to meet with attendees, answer questions they have, and show proper attention to your guests so the event flows seamlessly. Each staff member should have a predetermined role with defined responsibilities on the day of the event. This can include someone responsible for catering organization, presentation and exam room setup, pricing and intake form preparation, consult scheduling, and so on. Additionally, when considering staffing the event, you'll also want to consider what type of program you plan to hold. Will any of the office staff be speaking? Have you structured a presentation to be given by the physician that discusses the featured services of the practice? If there will be a presentation at the event, make sure this is put together at least three weeks before the event so anyone responsible for presenting is familiar and comfortable with its content. Another recommendation for open houses is to have previous patients share their experiences. If you have patients who are willing to discuss their treatments and what their post-care experiences were like, this speaks volumes to setting other prospective patients in the room at ease. Next, plan what you'll be offering at the event for incentives and gifts. A gift certificate toward a future treatment can be your grand prize with smaller amounts and products given out throughout the event. You don't need to give treatments away, but make it enough of a lure to bring people in the door. It's also a good strategy to offer attendees a 10 to 20% discount on procedures they book with a deposit at the event. When your event draws near, start actively marketing. Four weeks prior to the event, send out emails on a weekly basis highlighting the discounts, prizes, and other bonuses they'll get for attending. Consider also incentivizing your current patients by offering an exclusive prize for those bringing in new referrals to the event. As RSVPs come in, make sure staff members are handling questions about the event correctly and enthusiastically. Include a printout of the event details at each of the phones within the office. On the day of the event, keep that positive attitude going so attendees feel at ease. Make sure everyone is on hand early to set up and fulfill last minute details. After that, it's up to you to explain the different procedures, meet with attendees, and turn them into loyal long-term patients.